to Treasure Island, right? Treasure Island. All right. We're headed out with Vets Dig Beach today. Going out to Treasure Island. See what we can get. I'll see you at the island. There's no doubt that's going. That's going all day. That's going all day long, man. Well, back out at the lake today. A little windy. Hope you guys can hear me pretty good. But I pulled up to my first swim area, which this swim area doesn't even open till 11. It's about uh, 8.45 right now. That's why I have the treasure do. The treasure do allows me to get into places that doesn't it's not open plus this is a new lake where i have, haven't had the sea do yet my treasure do i'm going to be scouting out some uh, new places to detect one as you can see is just an island right out there about a half a mile we're going to go out there and look around see if we can find anything there then there's some coves and two more swim areas down on the other end of the lake but it's like an ocean out here right now but uh, we're gonna spend a couple hours in this one right here. This is the main swim area. So let's get in, let's get to swinging. Let's see if we can find anything good. Finally, I've been out here for almost two hours and all I've gotten is two earrings and a handful of change and no jewelry whatsoever. And I told myself I'm tired of digging pull tabs. I'm tired of digging bottle caps. I'm not digging any of those signals anymore. I'm just going to dig a signal that sounds different. You know, something I'm familiar with though. And uh, I was getting a solid 66 to a 68 here thinking, hey, that's a tungsten ring sound. It was real jumpy, and, and uh, but it was solid and it's on top of the ground and uh popped it up and it's going to be i believe this is going to be a 925 like an engagement ring with a uh, uh like an emerald stone i'm not sure on, on it yet it could be gold I, I can't really tell uh but it has a marking in it but uh it ring it rings up like gold uh, but uh really it's more like silver because it's uh it's round you can see uh it's got holes all in it, it was an engagement ring is what it is and uh, so if it's gold, I know that emerald's going to be real, but if it's uh, silver, it's going to probably be fake. But we'll find out. You'll know right here on the video. I'm going to show you what it is. And anyway, that's a nice find. I'll take that. So maybe things out a little bit deeper. So let's keep swinging. That gives me a little bit of energy. I was getting a little discouraged because I haven't found anything, but uh, uh, that's giving me a little energy. So let's, uh, let's go take a break. Let's get another breather. Let's get out here and let's keep digging and see if we can't find a few more of these rings. Well, I'm in this new swim area, never been here before, just asked, got permission to get in here, and uh, popped up a button, ringing up like a 55, 56. It's a two-piece button. It doesn't have anything on the back side of it, but it uh, looks like it's got an anchor and some stuff around it. So, hey, I'm going to research this one here and see what it is and put it right here up on the screen. And uh, so let's keep swinging. My last swim hole today hasn't, had been, hasn't been a good day. I haven't found a lot of stuff. So uh, let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Well, back out at the lake again this morning. So the birds are singing, sun is rising. Let's get to swinging. Let's see what we can find. A 77. Didn't sound like it's true. Nope. My first ring for the day. Looks like it's going to be maybe gold plated. Well, I got my first ring for the morning. It's uh, ringing up as a 77, so it wasn't ringing up like a 75, which would be a penny. And uh, sounded good, but it looks like it's going to be maybe just uh, gold-plated silver uh, or maybe gold-plated copper. Can't really tell. But anyway, we got another guy in the water with us this morning. Good to have some company always in the lake. And so let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. In the 75.
Well, I was getting a 75. I thought it was going to be a, a penny. Sounded just like one of those pennies, but ended up being a, uh, a silver diamond encrusted uh, heart locket or heart, uh, heart uh, necklace. I'll take that. And uh, I don't think the diamonds would be real. Maybe real chips, but not real diamonds. Not big diamonds anyway. But anyway, let's keep swinging. Let's uh, make some more shallow passes and some more deep passes. See what else we can get. All right, let's keep going. Let's help and see that. We got stainless steel, maybe. Well, about chest deep water, hitting a good solid 44. There's another piece of foil in there, so it was real jumpy. That uh, dig it anyway. Ended up being a, a nice little stainless steel ring, so I'll take that ring number two out of here with that heart. And so uh, let's keep hitting the deep, then we'll go hit the shallow, and then we'll skip on over to another lake and see what we get over there. Okay, let's keep going. I just met Jay and Joyce. They had just come out of the water, and there's one other guy in the water, and they're saying that they haven't found too much. So here's one of those things that either you just load up and you go to another spot, or you go out there and you hit it yourself. It's kind of like a yard, you know, yards never hunted out. Well, let's see if this lake is hunted out. Let's see if I can find anything. It's a challenge for me, because I know these guys have hit it pretty hard. And so I'm going to get out there and see if I can find just one thing, okay? Let's go get out there and let's see what we can get. get. Check this out. I was getting a pull tab signal, and there's the pull tab. But I was getting a double signal in there. And I get this ring and that ring. Check it out. Made one sweep down here. Man, about waist deep water. Got just dug a pull tab. Got another pull tab signal. Dug it. And when I pulled it up out of the water, I saw the pull tab, and then I saw two more rings in the scoop. Can you believe that? It goes to show you, even though people come out here and they hunt, you come out here and hunt anyway, and that's why you always dig pull tab signals. Now, I don't know. These are going to probably be, if they're anything, they're going to be white gold. Uh, hopefully they are. I can't see any markings in them right now. I'll let you know in the video. But, uh, hey, two rings for one. That ain't too bad, is it? Let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get in here. Well, I was making one more sweep through the lake, about waist deep, and uh, come across this 40 to 43 signal. Thinking it's just going to be a piece of foil. Dug it up, but it looks like it's going to be, um, it's got writing on the back and writing on top of the class, but I can't read what it is. So I'll tell you in the video right here what it is, but it looks gold. And so, uh, yeah, it looks definitely it looks gold. And it's half of a, of a necklace. The other part is a part of another necklace. So let's keep searching around in here. Maybe we'll find the chain to go with it. It's going to do it for me at this lake. Found two rings and a little heart to necklace, a uh, uh, piece of half a heart. And so I got to go get ready and head into work. And so I'm headed down this weekend after the 4th to uh, south of my location. I'm going to be meeting up with uh, Vets Dig Beeps, uh, Josh. And uh, he invited me to come down and He's got a spot. We're going to take the treasure dues out and we're going to see what we can find. So I'll see you guys down there with Josh this weekend. We're going to Treasure Island, right? Treasure Island. All right. Get it out with Vets Dig Beeps today. Going out to Treasure Island. See what we get. I'll see you at the island. location today I got Joshua with me with Vets Dig Beeps I'll talk about what he does a little bit later on in the video but we are out on this uh, island with the treasure dudes Cruising. all rigged up so Josh what are we going to get today 
Prophesy. Rings, rings, rings. Rings, rings. You heard it, all right? If not, we're going to just leave them out in the lake, all right? Let's get the swing and let's see what we find. Let's get it. I don't know if I should call this Treasure Island or Trash Island, man. All we've been digging is just trash. Tons and tons and tons of trash. So I decided to come out a little bit deeper. And I got a 4748 signal and got this stainless steel spinner ring. It's not much, but I'll take that. That's better than digging a pull tab. All right, I'm going to work deep water now. Let's see if we, the, the rings are out here in the deep. All right, let's keep swinging. Well, I was getting a like a 50, real jumpy sounding and... Uh, I'm up being this gold looking uh, necklace. I don't know if it's gold. It feels gold. It looks gold. So, but uh, I have to get it back in where I can get it cleaned up a little bit better. I can see any, any hallmarks on it or whatever. But anyway, it's a good find. I'll take that. All right, not a lot of targets so far. So let's keep swinging, see what else we can get. Somebody won't like he's got a ring. No ring. Oh, but he got him a chain. I got the first ring. I got a stainless steel ring a while ago. Okay, there you go. Is it gold? No, I can't find a mark and I see a little bit of wear. I'm going to call it plated. It was a solid 15. I've got change coin yeah, spills out the wazoo. I know, what change and pull tabs <laughs> and bottle caps. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just not getting hey, any jewelry. I've got a, a stainless steel ring, uh, a spinner. Purdy. Oh, nice. So that's I got a new carabiner. I got a carabiner. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll match you a carabiner. There you go. Anyway, we're still swinging. There's got to be something else out here, so let's get doing it. Dirty. Yeah, it is pretty. It's got like an eagle on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Almost like the old uh, press. All right, man. We came back out here to Treasure Island. That is a gold band. That yes, is sir. gold, dude. There's no doubt that's gold. That's gold all day. That's gold all day long, man. We just got back out here. We ate lunch and uh, we uh, decided to come back out here to the island. Is that an eagle? What is that? I can't tell what that is. I bet the viewers can comment what it is. Well, that's really nice. We got a gold band, man. Check it out, dude. You hey. went, you up on the game now, aren't Let's you? Get it. Let's that's get a, it. that beats a stainless steel, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I've got a stainless. She's got a gold. I've got. I think I got that gold pendant earlier. I haven't shown yeah. you, and I got this right here. So hopefully that's gonna be some good stuff. So let's keep swinging. See what else we can get. Man, Joshua's killing me over here. He's done got him another silver <laughs> ring, man. Check this out. And that's going to be a 1962 Benjamin half dollar. Benjamin half dollar silver ring. You can't beat that, man. Congratulations, Thank you, sir. dude. It's pretty wow. cool. Let me see what that rings up on the AT Pro. Absolutely. Put it up there. Oh, yeah. 90. 90. Big 90. I would have dug that one any day. <laughs> All right. Any of us. All right. Let's see if I can get on the board with some silver now. Well guys, it's been a very long week hitting a lot of different lakes and uh, finishing out my lake down here with my good new friend right there, Vets Dig going? Beeps right there guys. Uh, he's a disabled veteran, but he also has a ministry or a, a product that he puts out there. And it's this thing right here. And it's this P cord. This is a 26, you also have them in what? P18 and P22. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your P-Cord and, and, and your product there? Well, the P-Cord is the one pinpointer lanyard that does not twist or tangle. This is the 22. You see it's all that. And then I'm 6'3", and I can stretch that boy all the way out. It's the one lanyard that never twists or tangles. And no matter what you do, it's right there with an easy reach. That's all nice. marine grade components and all handmade right here in the U.S. And you got all different colors and go to your website. Absolutely. Go to VetsDigBeeps.com. Uh, you can see the tutorials. You can see uh, descriptions. 
what one base length all the way to what it stretches out, everything else. And if they sign up on this video, is there a promo code or, or something for a discount or anything like that? So if you sign up for the on this video, um, we're going to give away this free lanyard right here. Just comment in the comment in the, uh, comments, and we will do a giveaway random drawing. Um, but if you go to vetsdigbeeps.com and enter the promo code VDB2024, that's Vets Dig Beeps VDB2024, you will automatically get a 15% discount. All right, man. Well, that's pretty gracious, man. Hopefully, we'll get you some sales here. I appreciate it, man. It was a blast out there hunting with you. I appreciate the you. Treasure dues, move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we uh, we took the treasure dues out, man. We they they we had a good time going out to that island and uh, having a good time on that island and um, and, and going all over the lake too and, and trying to find some different spots to hit. But that's why I got those treasure dues, is that we can get out there on spots where other people can't get to. So. It's uh, it's a, it's a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun, but but it was hot. It was very tiring. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very hot. Tom, I appreciate you bringing me down, man. Absolutely. And had a good time nice. with you know. Y'all support these vets, man. They get there and doing their work, and uh, he could use that, and uh, it's a good product as well. So check that out. Well, enough of us talking. Let us show you what we found on this uh, metal detecting video. Well, there's all the trash. This is just my trash. It's not Joshua's trash. But there's my aluminum, my aluminum caps, all the steel stuff vape pens, all the carabiners, uh, fishing stuff. There's uh, bottle caps, pull tabs, and then your, your square pull tabs. So a lot of trash, and, and Josh dug just as much as I did. And so here are his finds. Uh, we also did a little bit of turf hunting today. He got him a, what are you calling this? I'm calling that a dinosaur egg. A dino <laughs> it's a dinosaur egg right here. It looks just like an egg. It's yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, he got him a couple of toy cars, lots of change, most of this from the water. Uh, today on land, he did get him a Palm Olive token, did get him a 20, was that? 20, 27. 27 Merc. Uh, got him a little earring or something, an earring. Got him a couple of uh, six different to Wheaties. Do you know your oldest one? Uh, the oldest one, I believe, is 1927. 27. Right by where we found that. Check out his ring. rings, man. He got him a half dollar silver ring. Check that out. 1962 Benji. A Benjamin half dollar. Check that out. They all just shine up really, really cool. You can see the reeded edge right there. That's yeah. going to be real, not one of those Chinese fakes. But this is his best find. He got him a 14 karat gold ring, man. That's awesome. He killed me yesterday in the lake. All I got was a, a steel, uh, stainless steel, but he got that gold. Here are my finds. This is from uh, all week, though. I've hunted, I think, four different places. I got a couple pair of glasses. Uh, today we went out down in Houston on some vacant lots and I got this uh, buckle. I got a war nickel, a love button, two Wheaties. I don't know the age of that. Um, I got some type of token. I dug that metal detecting. That's how good I am. I can metal detect plastic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, some type of little 5.9999. Uh, I don't know what that goes to. I did get a button in the lake. Uh, that's just a, a, a modern day blazer button. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars and quarters. I got uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty dimes, three nickels, and five, ten, fourteen pennies. And here are my good stuff. I got uh, five different hoop earrings. I got some type of hair thing, some cool looking uh, stud earrings, and one other little hoop earring there, or whatever you want to call that. Here's my better finds. I got a gold looking, not, that one's not gold, but this is 10 karat gold here, this one. Uh, the other half of the heart I couldn't find. They probably didn't lose that one. I did get a silver diamond encrusted um, heart pendant, and then another eagle looking pendant. It's not gold either. Here are my rings for the trip. I got a, a spinner ring. I got that, he got the silver and the gold. I dug these two out of the same hole. You saw that in the video. They're just two stainless steel rings. There's another stainless steel band. I think it's stainless steel. Uh, I didn't see any markings on it. My two best finds is gonna be this uh, silver black onyx ring. And then this silver, I don't know if that's a real emerald or not, but it sure is pretty like an emerald. 
and so we ended up with six rings on this video so there's all the trash and here's all the treasure and like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come down and dig with a vet and uh, put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.